Well, hello, and welcome back to Idol King of Defense. So today, 17 to 75, and of course, don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, don't forget to subscribe, and make sure to ring that bell. As always, we are headed directly into King's Ruins, starting at stage 5. Uh, I forget, I think this is about 8 minutes, that's why I started stage 5. I don't want this video to be too long. It should be a nice, quick video to remind you to take your King's Ruin vital. That's the whole purpose, to remind you of the importance of getting your King's Ruin in for the day. Outside of that, it has been a great day. Friday, this is my Friday. Friday is always such a beautiful day for me. It is my favorite day of the week, Friday evening. There's never a better or more freeing time for my mind. Now, obviously, this is the stage with the cannon. We're going to watch them line up just right for Marion. This is why Marion is so strong. So many of the enemies just automatically line up in her. And you can just see her just decimating these cannons. And there we go. There we go, and that's it, and then it's on to Ruin 7. 7 is Catapult, which also work extremely well. And there they are, they're all lining up to the right. Yeah, Marion has, sometimes the targeting just won't be the best. But once Marion does fight, there, see, half of the cannon, the catapult's already gone. And there go, they're almost dead. This is why I do say Christian is important, because he's kind of like the cleanup crew. You don't want to be sitting around waiting for Marion to hit it. Because she only single targets. Christian at least hits an area. Now, we did do a King's Ruin where we switched between the, the artifacts, between uh, Christian and Marion, and it was actually longer. And I wasn't surprised by that, because I know Marion is stronger. But, who are we to judge? Who are we but mere mortals to judge the feats of Christian and Mary? Alright, so, there we go. There's eight. Again, that's a pretty easy AoE stage, nothing fancy. And again, and the, the dog stages are nice. Because those dogs do have a tendency to be able to run so fast that even when slowed, they make it to the castle. They make this beautiful pattern. And then Marion just eliminates most of them. Again, you still see pockets here. This is why Christian can actually still beat Marion on stages like this. And on to 10. And then, of course, we're going to remember to use the buffs on 11. I think I have actually forgotten that before. The buffs are actually really interesting because even though they make they bring Marion to, to I believe one shot territory, depending on how many we get for the sword here for the heroes, um, they also allow the other heroes to actually contribute more too. So it's, it, and I know this sounds probably silly to say out loud because of course they do that, but you really do get a chance to see how the other heroes would do with more damage. Obviously, none of it is at the level of Marion, though. And I do get a lot of the curiosity of why I picked the support hero, and the answer it will always be Tristan. It, well, the answer will be that there was a, that somebody basically did a test. They did a test of who the best hero was. And for warriors, it came up... Wow, none. Alright, this is going to be interesting. For warriors, it came up... Um, Thor, followed by uh, Marion. No, no, I think Marion beat Thor. I think Thor is number two. And the reason being is just because so many of the stages 
line up in a way that benefits Marion. And it was a, it was a speed test, and it was a twelve. I forget the parameters, but it was done with like nine hundred artifacts at twelve hundred, and it was the time it took for all the heroes to advance through fifteen stages. I want to say so, or maybe more. Maybe it was twenty. And it took quite a long time to test all the various configurations, and Marion came out on top, followed by Thor. Uh, for obvious reasons, for farm, which is farming, I went with Christian first. And then once Christian was done, upon seeing those results, I mean, really, my whole initial thing was, well, let's get Christian up, because he's he helps farming more than anything. I felt like like that was that's the one weakness if you use the warriors, is that they are not as good as farming. Because with the Warriors, everything is limited by their attack. And, and again, Vincent has the best attack as he hits everything around him. That's why I'm going after Vincent, for the attack matter. He's, he's not going to have the most... And, and the thing is, but like I said, I could just level four after him. And I realize how ridiculous this sounds. Oh, you're going to level Sophia to 20k, then Vincent to 20k... Then Thor to 20k. And I'm going to tell you, absolutely. And, and then after Thor, we're going to level um, Daniel to 20k. And I'm still going to say absolutely. I mean, look at how long I've been playing this game. Why would I stop now? The honest, the, and, and people ask if uh, I spend a lot of time on this. And I mean, that's the beautiful thing about this level of King's Room. Right now, I don't spend a lot of time on it. Because King's Room is really quick. There was a time... When I would, uh, when I would just basically, and then this is why I didn't have commentary during King's Run. I would record King's Run for an hour, condense it down, speed it up to eight minutes, and at least when I when I muted it, I was fine with like doing other things on the side, you know, because basically all I had to do was listen for. That's honestly one of the reasons I had the sound on for King's Run was so I could listen for when the stage was done. Um, so this is that is that is my and that's my number one reason why I didn't push. I have considered reducing the frequency of King's Run, and that's something I may consider in the future. Like, possibly recording a video on, like, Tuesday, releasing it only every Saturday. It was just like King's Run was part of the original video I did, and then I split it off because it was taking so long. And I just haven't had the heart. Haven't had the heart to kill it off, I guess. And honestly, I do wonder if reducing the frequency of King's Ruin, because I can imagine it gets quite repetitive, and reducing it to like once a week, would pro I'd probably get seven times the views. It'd be more interesting because we're seeing a week's worth of progress against a week's worth of progress. And I have really considered it. But I haven't done it yet. And I'm not, sh and then I'm, I'm, I guess to me, like, like the original premise of the game was always, let's see how far we can push and how we do and all that. And then basically, okay, let's upgrade the team. Can we beat the stage we were stuck on? And I feel like removing the King's Ruin video kind of removes that part of the, the episode. But that said, Marion 57%, Christian 41%, the Archers are the king at 1%. It's close, though. It's close. 16 billion between the two. And Daniel's the king of 0%. So, that said, as always, once again, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to support the channel. If you have any questions, feel free to say something in the comments. I do always look forward to your questions. And as always, thank you again. And I hope you have a great day.